we haven't watched a Jubilee video in a long time because a lot of Jubilee have been putting out. I've been just seeing mid out of Jubilee recently. But people said this video is chaotic. So I'm like, okay, bet. It's called If Couples Were 100% Honest. Now, I love seeing people break up. You know what I'm saying? If somebody doesn't break up by the end of this video, then it wasn't worth the watch. I'm not going to lose you. But I love seeing people break up personally. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. So let's go ahead and see um, what happens when you're 100% honest with your... Uh, with your significant other. Do y'all feel like there's a there's somebody out there that you're 100% honest to like you never lied to ever? Um like ever? Me? This video freaky of real where I got me a man finally. Mario, that's what's good. That's what's good. We like to hear. We like to hear. Change title. Why you add me to change title? That's that's mod's job, not me. Mod's change title. Um free fight. No not a hater. I don't lie. If it was on Jubilee, I would forever had to cut the vid. Damn, that's tough. I'm not going to lose you. I'm not going to lose you. I could, like, this is not the platform to be honest in, but we'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's go ahead and get the uh, video started. Mod slacking. Why mod sleep? There's 14 mods in here. Why mod sleep? Why mod sleep? Um, Why mod sleep? Okay, this couples were 100% honest. I kind of need direction with that I, thank you for I, I want to know exactly what you're comfortable with so you're a little scared to like make that move yes okay, well i've been waiting for you to make that move hello and welcome welcome to split decision today we brought four straight couples into the studio to ask them some of the toughest most intimate questions they mm. have ever been asked forget your partners behind you go with your gut and most importantly be honest Question number one. I faked an orgasm with my mm, partner. If they all don't, I'm not gonna hold you. If they all don't say yes, this might be, I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Usually though, I hear from women though. You hear more from women than, than, than dudes though. You know what I'm saying? If a dude fakes some shit like that, that means that's actually wild. I'm not gonna hold you. That means that that shit must have been absolutely trash. But you hear that a lot more from women where they like, they fake this shit. You know what I'm saying? You hear that? You hear that a lot more from women. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, so let's see what they say. Make your split decision in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn. All the dudes said no, which I pretty much figured was gonna happen. Two of the girls said yes. Okay. Around. You can't even fake it as a man. And I and I, I'm not gonna hold you. I wholeheartedly, cause I'm not gonna hold you. The only way, you can tell, the thing is, you can tell, though. You can tell, bro. The only way for me to fake it, bro, is if I just don't, you know what I'm saying? If I just don't bust, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only way to, to fake it if I just don't bust. But if I bust, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. So, I, I, I assume this is going to happen. None of the guys have done it. That makes sense. <laughs> to die if you have done it. orgasm? You were my first, like, so in the very the beginning of our relationship. Yeah. I just, I, it was hard for me to get into it yeah, in like the beginning. Did you know? I feel like somebody gonna cry in this First video. All, I did, I did. Oh, you I knew did. she faked it. Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it's pretty fake, so. I, do, I don't fake it now, I promise. We met during high school, like sophomore year. We've been together for four years and married for two. Mm. Jenny. Um, he actually was not very good at the beginning. He sucked in the beginning? Not anymore though, not anymore. <laughs> yeah, this is such a bad platform to go on. Like, I just feel like, bro, not a whole world know that your husband is is, is trash. I feel like there's just terrible platforms to go on, bro. Now everybody in this chat, everybody who watches this video, like, I, I I don't feel like this is good platforms to go on. I'm not gonna lose you. More though, I I think that our sex life right now is very pretty compatible. But when we first started dating, like four or five months in, yeah, I was doing that for like yeah. that that time period. Y'all, chat. It's gonna be a lot of chat. Y'all gonna see a lot of these from me. Y'all gonna see a lot of these. Y'all gonna see a lot of like looking away in this video. I would eat the booty if my partner asked me to. Okay, bro. Okay, make your split decisions in a three, a two, a one. <laughs> okay, turn around. Very. Uh, I see y'all the what? Where her? Enjoy that. Oh, damn. I see y'all the. See y'all the. See, see, see y'all the. See y'all the different level of time in chat. See y'all the little table. <laughs> Breathe. 
Uh, she on, she on free time, and I ain't gonna hold you. Like, she on different levels. Uh, man, I ain't gonna hold. Now, me personally, everybody grown. You can do what they, you want. You know what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? But this one caught me off guard. I ain't gonna hold. This one caught me off guard. Very, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> It's crazy because when your family see this, you just know that you were just you just an avid ass eater. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, the one who says I'm yes. I'm for the little ass action. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have y'all done it? No. no. Do you want him to ask? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Ladies, no. I. He asked you to. He's he's asking you, taking the initiative. He said, "Babe, please." Huh? He already did. He already did. I have asked. And I said, You've no. asked. So. No success. Here. We've been together. This nigga's a mega freak. He was like, yo, can I eat your ass? Yo, he's a mega. Oh yeah, this this nigga right here. Oh yeah, this dude right here. He he like where the wild things are, yeah. He uh he he a freak bull for real. Together for nearly eleven months now, and we met through Hinge. Hinge success story. I spent a long Y'all been dating for under a year and you was already about to eat the groceries? For y'all been niggas been dating for under a year? That's not my type of festivity, so maybe I, I need like a professional ass eater to really tell me that. Oh well, I, the uh, the average time is like seven months, but it's been under a year, and nigga was already offering. That's crazy. That's how you know this nigga like where the wild things are. Long time trying to find like the perfect thing to say to catch her attention, and uh, I got I got lucky. I wish my partner were more. Cost all that he know about it. Would take more risks in bed. Make your split decisions in three, two, a one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> Damn, everybody said yes except... <laughs> what kinks? Just like in general, other stuff, because even though I do want it to be intimate, there are times where I do want it to be like, whoa, you know, like a little... Which one of these, these, what do you, which one of these people you think like to be like chained up or like into BDSM? One of them is, one of them is. Now, I don't want to say who I'm thinking, but... I'm just keeping this to myself, but you know what I'm saying? But I already know. I do want it to be like, whoa, you know? Like a little, some costumes, some okay. toys. I mean, I like to dress up. I like lingerie. I feel like that would be, that would make me feel sexier. Tell us, tell us. What are you asking you agree. for? What are you asking for? <laughs> huh? What do you want to feel? Uh, what do you want? I don't know. We've been together for almost five years now. I I have a I have a thing for maybe like... Yeah, go ahead, sorry. I don't even know about... Pre-BDSM, pre-BDSM, pre-BDSM. Say this. <laughs> maybe like doing stuff in public? Oh. Oh. Oh, well, there, <laughs> there are some people who get off on doing it in public because I guess it's the, I, I, I can't speak on it personally because I've never, I have never done it in uh public, but I have people, I know people who have, uh, but I think it, it, it might just be the, the, the thrill of doing it in a place you're not supposed to. I think it, it comes from that, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is, you know what I'm saying? It's completely, completely fine, you know what I'm saying? Unless you get caught, if you get caught, it's GG's for you and you going on a list, but if you don't get caught, I mean, hey, you know, um, Yes, sir. That girl bringing wrist, uh, bring her here. Yo, Kaida, come on, bro. Kaida, yo. Yo. Like, that's a, that's a big, like, fetish yeah. of mine. Okay. Um. <laughs> have you told, have you told him this? <laughs> that you want to do stuff in public? What you mean is, like, public, but in private in the same time. Yeah, what like. What do you mean? People can see in you In, like, right a now? bathroom no, stall. Can't see you. Like, uh, okay. in, like, a hidden spot on the beach, like. Like that type of vibe. Elevators. <laughs> elevators, bitch. What's wrong with you? Bitch said elevators. Elevators is like a 10 second joint. What's wrong with you? Yo, I'm not gonna hold you. Bitch is trying to get the biggest quickie of all time. 10, you 10, 15 seconds? Bitch said the elevator. What's wrong with you? I think we have done a lot of that, actually. Okay. Wow. But you want more. <laughs> yeah. All right, Shady. Um, I feel like we're both in the same place when it comes to getting kinkier. Um, I definitely want to explore, like everybody said, toys and costumes. And I, I do like being swept on my feet, and I know he'd like to see me in like a schoolgirl outfit. I just want like to take it to the next level. Really like taking advantage of 
our bodies and like this is mine like I'm gonna show you like this is mine I want to be dominated I kind of need direction with that I like I want I want to know exactly what you're comfortable with so you're a little scared to like make that move to be fair though if this nigga was like yo I got this chain and this ball and gag let's go like you you down or what then she gonna look at that nigga crazy. You can't just be like, so you're just scared to say what it is. Like, I don't y'all both just have a conversation about what y'all cool with and what y'all not cool with and then go from there. Why does bro have to go ahead and 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 put some freak out there and then have to like go gauge if you put it or not? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Yes. Okay, well, I've been waiting for you to make that move. <laughs> you should tell me to make the move. I should make the move. I will make no, why don't y'all both have a conversation about it prior? Like, and this, Chad, these are not like, they're not talking about where you just like do a different position or something. These niggas talking about schoolgirl outfits and, 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 and accessories. Like, motherfucker, where you want me, you want me to pull the accessory out my fucking belly button, my nigga? Where, like, like, talk about this shit beforehand. What's wrong with y'all? Make the move. We've been dating for a little over a year now. She used to date one of my best friends in high school. Then. Oh. <laughs> Somebody said nigga getting DLT. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Okay. And they uh, kind of broke up and um Been together just... ever since. Yeah. I'm better at sex than my partner. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's hear this one, chat. Let's hear it. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, JD, you're, you both think you're better at sex than the other person. Ooh, okay. Um, I want to hear more. <laughs> I said yes because I seem to initiate it more, and I feel this like this is where it starts, chat. This is this is where it starts to go downhill. Everything everything from here is is, go, is downhill. Pre pre breakup. This is where it goes downhill because y'all are on jubilee and, and just talking about this, bro, publicly in front of other men and women, bro. Just going downhill from here, chat. No funny, chat. It's it's it's, it's all GGs from here. It's all, it's literally all GGs from here. I'm not gonna hold you, yeah. Do you for them? It's raps. Especially, yeah, it's raps. Like, I'm always putting myself out there and I'm always, you know, trying to try new things, even if alcohol is not involved. <laughs> um, and you are kind of just passive in the moment. And I don't mind it, but I would like more initiative. I will say that you do definitely have um, more of the uh, initiative side down, but I think that the, uh, the act of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, niggas is laughing. Oh, chat. Oh, okay. The love making. Um, I have pretty, pretty down. But to be fair, I'm a lot easier, and you are a lot more difficult. What do you mean he's more <laughs> difficult? He's more difficult to make finish. <laughs> we gotta end stream on that one. God damn. Y'all see, y'all see Saudi base right here? Ooh, that's not a good idea. Funny thing is, she's probably the one who told him to go on this show chat. And she's gonna get the most offended on this chat. Oh yeah, it's, 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 it's about to get tragic. A new padding, hopping to be and that shit automatic. You are a lot more difficult. What do you mean he's more difficult? <laughs> he's more difficult to make finish. It, it takes a it while. It takes a long time. If she was better at it, would it last a shorter amount of time? Yes. He's, he's saying yo shit trash. That's what I'm hearing. He said yo shit is horrible. He said it'd be like, that sounds like you probably, he said, he said yo shit is trash. When we first started dating, it definitely was 
much shorter because it was new, it was fun, and not that it's bad or anything like that, um, but like it's now I, I found my groove and it's just it takes me a while. Maybe is that why you don't initiate? Because it's not as good as maybe once was? No, that's not why. Well, maybe get out of the groove. How do you want him to get out the groove? Bitch, your s is ass, bro. Your s is trash, bro. Dry well, like, your s is trash. And try new things with me. And do what I want to do, and we won't have this problem. Ooh. First sign of a toxic relationship. And do what I want to do, and we won't have this problem. First sign of a toxic relationship, chat. Yup, it's, it's, we're seeing the breakdown of a relationship in real time. This is what we want to see. This is what we really want to see. You see her face? Yeah, this is what we want to see. For, I guarantee, give it like a couple more minutes, both their face is going to be red. You see the pigment on their face right now? Give it like, I should not give it like three more minutes max. Both their face going to be red. Come on, come on, cat. Okay, okay. This is why you take the lead, though. No, you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> What do you want to do that he's not doing? I want more. I want everything to be different or different positions, like like all that kind of stuff. You guys just do one position right now? It's just missionary? It just, it falls back into that, and I don't want to just sit. Y'all niggas just, Jesus Christ, y'all niggas is like, damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> there. We, we rotate. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> Alondra, you're better at sex, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I was his first, so there wasn't a lot to work with at the beginning. I feel like we have kind of the opposite problem from them. I feel like he wants to have like sex and I don't. I want it to be more sex. intimate. What, what is what is sex? What you see on porn or something or uh... like, like in movies. Yeah, I want it to feel like he loves me. I don't want it to just feel like he wants to me. I, see, I, see. I want maybe a balance of both. I do feel like I'm kind of more the open-minded one too. I'm like, okay, well maybe we can, you know, throw some of this, throw some of that in there. I put no because, like she said, I was, she was my first. Like the first time I was like, I, I already knew what's gonna happen, you know? So I was like, how can I make this memorable? So before then I put like Kung Fu Panda on, so I could be like, that's Kung Fu Panda, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy, crazy movie. Most by me turning on One Piece, but that's just me. Specifically, uh, One Piece Alabaster scene, episode 265 scene, uh, scene 25, minute 1987. Yeah, trust. That's my movie right that's there. That's totally a scene that you can go to. You know? You put Kung movie. Fu Panda on, you, had, you made love to her with Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Black spinning sticks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's memorable, you know. It's, yep. And then like, thirty seconds later, it's it's all over. At most. The second time, I was like, oh, I'm gonna beat this. You know, I can't. Yeah. I can't beat. I'm gonna put on Shrek instead. Maybe ten seconds, and I'm like, oh damn. Ten seconds. You were worse the second time. We've been together for a year and ten months. We were co-worker I was new and he had been there a while and he ignored me oh, yeah, I was just nervous yeah. he says he was nervous I was like oh you know like do you have a girlfriend and he was like no I was like perfect you have one now I'm gonna be your girlfriend <laughs> I think my partner needs to lose weight or exercise more make your split decisions in in three two one. Here we go. And turn around. It's over for that nigga. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over, it's over for bro. It's over for bro. You see how both of them said yes? But only one of them gonna get mad. And you see these niggas, even bro chat, even if they think it, they can't say yes. Because they say yes, they know it's GG's. These niggas had to say no. It might be GG's for this nigga though, I'm not going to hoochie. It might, it, it might be GG's for this nigga, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Oh, Done. the only guy though. That... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're fat or whatsoever. Just basically, we should move around more. It's funny that you're saying that because I've been begging you to go to the gym with me. So you don't like working out? 
I don't find joy. But you want me to work out. Okay, cool. No, no, not work out, not work out, but like, you know, move more, move around more. Most of the time, she only go to the gym if I say yes. Sure, we'll go to the gym. Yeah, because I want to go to the gym with you. Going to the gym is very, as a woman, it's yeah. it's very nerve-wracking. That's true. Because like, you just feel like, like a lot of men are like staring at you. Yeah. So going with I a partner agree. just makes me feel like a hundred times better. That's why I want you to go with me so bad. And you've asked him to go with you? I've, I asked him many times. Oh. Like, How come you haven't gone? Every week. Well, she also asked me in the four, four in the morning. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He should have just said no. He should have just said no. He should have just said no. Now he's never going to hear the end of it. Even if they don't break up right now, when they go home on that car ride, the later that night, tomorrow, the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then the next month, and then a year from now, and two years from now, nigga's never going to hear the end of it. I'm not going to lie. I want it to be known that a uh, woman looked at me crazy because I worked out my legs and I've never been to the gym. 4 a.m. in the gym is fucking insane, though. Can we just put that out there? Does that sound... Does him not going wanting to go to the gym with, with her, is it... Kawa... A little bit. Depends on how you look at it perspective-wise. But 4 a.m. in the gym is crazy. I don't know what type of schedule y'all niggas on, but I'm not going to the gym at 4 a.m., my nigga. Y'all niggas different. <laughs> Devin has been telling me so. 4 a.m. is not too wild, nigga. I go to sleep at 4 a.m., my nigga. Maybe it's because my sleep schedule is not like, not like y'all niggas. Some of y'all niggas wake up at 3 a.m. Nigga, I go to sleep at 4 a.m., my nigga. I'm not going to lose you. 4 a.m. is that crazy. I go to sleep at 4 a.m., my nigga. Many times I want to get back to the gym, but he never goes. Mm. Devin, how does that make you feel? I mean, not good. <laughs> it makes me feel a bit lazy, you know, because I've been promising, you know, to get bigger and get bigger muscles and stuff for months now. And I, I, I mean, I started, I did start going for a few months and then... But he got, yeah, he, he stopped going for like a couple days and then that's when lazy... I'm telling y'all, chat, that's how it goes, chat. If y'all go for like a week or two or even like a month and then you like take a small break, that small break gonna turn into a long break. So you just, you just gotta keep moving. I just got lazy again. Shady, you say yes. Anthony, you say no. Um, I feel like we've been dating for a year now, so... Um... You've, we've kind of like gotten that relationship way and now we're more comfortable with each other. Okay. And you complain about <laughs> gaining a little bit of weight. Well, I, I just have a little bit of a dad gut, but. My partner is the most confident person I've ever dated. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. And go ahead and turn around. This nigga been getting roasted this entire time by her, Amako Huji. This nigga been getting roasted. Okay. Interesting. Three of the gentlemen say yes. Three of the ladies say no. <laughs> Alondra, let's start with you. I said no because I think he's like perfect in my eyes, but he always has something negative to say about himself. You know, just from looking at him, he has a a lot of good qualities, a lot of good features on him, and he doesn't think he's that attractive. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, have you seen yourself in the mirror? Like, you are very attractive. Anything you want to say to that? Okay, so I've only ever dated one other person before her. Um, it was an online, or I mean, long distance. We're pretty much the same, I guess. Very anxious and like low self-esteem and whatever. To be fair, she didn't make him feel bad about it, chat. She was just like, the nigga look good, bro. And I know he looks good. He just puts himself down a lot. So like. That's actually not, that's actually not bad. Like, if somebody, if I was dating a shorty and she was just like, yo, you look good, bro. Like, you just be putting yourself down a lot. And I'm like, how do you be putting yourself down that much? And you look like, that's, that's like, that's, that's not, that's not, that's not bad. I'm not going But like, like seeing her do the things she um, does, like, it, it, it inspires me because I want to be more like her. They're going to um, make it, chat. So. They, they, chat, they're going to make it. They're going to make it, chat. No, just just everything she does. Like, I just want to be more like her in that in that regard. You know, she's she's just amazing. So, mm -hmm. Jenny, Devin is the most confident person you have ever been with, but Devin, Jenny is not the most confident no. you have ever been with. No. 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 Big no. Okay. Like, where is she at one to ten? I would say, honestly, I would say you're at like a like a five or a six, and I think we could we could probably move that on up. But where to like where a, do you feel you are? What's your one to ten. A three. A three. three. Mm -hmm. I think I think for me it's like my upbringing, where I where I'm from. Um, uh, I grew up in Asia, 
Yeah, as an Asian thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Takahashi, I get it, all right. Uh. Been, been there, my friends. Yeah, and but he's the most confident you've ever been with. Yeah, yeah. I like it, though. How, how, many, how many guys have you been with? <laughs> he's my fourth boyfriend. Fourth, okay. And what's, what's he at, one to ten? I would say he's uh, nine. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. One of these, all right. All right. Let's, go on, let's, move, let's move on to the next question, everybody. My family approves of my partner. Make your split decisions in three, two. I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to say something crazy, but y'all know the first couple, the the Asian dude and then the the black girl. I feel like that was. I might just. I might just be if 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 they have opposing uh joints. That would act. That one's actually going to be insane. I'm not gonna hold you, but I, that's just something I'm thinking. I'm not gonna hold. One. Please, right, no, I hope you have the same thing. Oh, I knew that nigga was going to say no. I knew, I knew that nigga was going to say no. Oh, I knew that nigga was going to say no. I could see him on the nose. I knew that nigga was going to say no. Uh, chat, a lot of the times, like, I'm not going to say every time that's how it'll go, but a lot of the times when Michael hoods you, like, <laughs> uh, no, huh? She already know. She already know. You can see her face. If y'all really look at her face as she turns around, she already know before she even turn around. All right, go ahead and turn around. No, huh? Tell yeah, us more. I came from a very, very cultural uh, family. Uh, my parents were ex definitely expecting me to date my own race in a way. So besides that, a lot of cultural difference as well that my family did not go well with. And is that still going on? They still don't? Still going on, still working on it at the moment for me. How does that make you feel? It, it's been probably the hardest thing that we ever had to go through. For sure. Just because I want so bad to be accepted. Yeah. Um, the thing is, chat, sometimes you're not going to be accepted, chat. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially, this is going to sound, sound crazy, but especially if, if it's on some culture. Damn, did my camera crack? Wow, did my camera crack? Bro, Lana just put this drain on and my camera cracked. Damn, y'all see that? I don't, well, I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see it. Y'all see the, see the, the little crack right here? I, it, the crack is hard to see, but there's a crack on my camera now. Damn. I need another uh, joint. But anyways, though. Um, but especially when it's on some or somebody comes from like a a, a a background, whether they're they're African, um, is 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 Asia based, um, the best Indian, God. whatever the case may be. Eleven more months, BBG. When it comes from really cultural family, usually they expect you to date within your joint. So when you do that, bro, and it's something like this, it like sometimes it be like hard, especially when the family be so either uptight or cultural about it. Sometimes it be crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And one day, hopefully, have a relationship with your family. Yeah. But Chad, sometimes you can't even force that, shit, bro. That, that, that has nothing to do with her. Like she can't even do nothing to make them like you know. They, her, his family probably like low key like racist or something like that. So like he can't. There's nothing that she can do to even fix that. And then it also like just brings a lot of insecurities in myself. Like yeah. I'm not like good enough. And it, to a point, it kind of started to make me question if I'm accepted too, in a way because of the relationship as well. So it's been tough for that. Yeah, biggest mountain we ever got to climb. And you say no as well. What's the story? Well, I say no because my mom, she's like very old traditional, like Mexican mom. And she expects a lot from my partner, regardless of who they are, she really expects a lot. Like she needs them to kind of work their entire life, work away. The only thing they think about is like working and not anything outside of that. And the man is supposed to take care of everything. I mean, I haven't told him this, but my mom thinks that he has a lot of free time and she hates that. I mean, she likes him as a person because he's a really good person, but she just feels like he should be more like man, how do you all? F I'm about to. I was about to say something disrespectful, but I don't like disrespecting people's moms like that. But chat, whenever you're dating somebody, you're gonna have to, and you really want to really, really take it there. Like you're gonna have to like beat their parents and all that, like that. 
hopefully they be on cool timing. But like, a lot of these parents don't got they shit together. The way they be talking about like a lot of you know what I'm saying, the the significant others like they a lot of these parents don't be even be having they shit together. Talking about some working twenty four seven. Da -da 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 a lot of these people don't be having they shit together. Talking about you know what I'm saying, what it is. So. A lot of the time, bro, y'all just got to move with what you want to do and stop listening to what your, your parents saying. Once you're at that stage, you know what I'm saying? Listen to what your parents saying within reason if you're just growing up and trying to, you know what I'm saying, get to wherever you're getting. But once you're an adult, bro, you can't be so fixated on that. I feel about those, you know, traditional gender norms, like what we're talking about right here. I think definitely um, for me and Anthony, we're very not based on that. Um, for the longest time, I was working two jobs and I was bringing in the income and taking care of rent while he was, you know, not working as much and waiting for a promotion so he can get to that step. But I do believe, like, a relationship is whatever you can give. It's not all 100%, it's not, you know, just 50 50. It's if I come home one day and I worked really hard and I'm too tired to do the dishes, he's gonna come in and do the dishes. There is a political issue that my partner and I will never agree on. Turn around. Dude, I can't, I can't do those. I can't do those, chat. I can't, I can't like, Political, I, I'm not a political ass person, bro, but I can't be, if you in a relationship and somebody has a political issue with you, then most of the time you're just going to be arguing about that political issue, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, um, can you look at some Zex clips? What do you mean? What do you, what's Zex, what's Zex clip? Why am I looking at, at Zex clips? Why am I looking at Zex clips? Um, but whenever there's some political shit, bro, I've been, I've like really really been close to a girl who was super political bro and i'm not a political ass nigga bro but she would be mad at me because i just didn't care about a lot of this shit that was being talked about my nigga like did you know that in in 2018 over 50 percent of 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 yankee candles were sold off to the black market i was like oh wow that's 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 really crazy you know what i'm saying like Bro, I don't give a fuck about, bro. I'm sorry. I don't I don't care about a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that shit. But it's like niggas trying to force you to, to care about some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I can acknowledge it and everything like that, but I can't force myself to care about some shit or, or feel a way about some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially this on some political shit. I'm sorry. What's this This ex clip the nigga sent me? That nigga's ready? That nigga's ready? What the fuck? <laughs> never show me that shit. No, never show me that shit ever again in your lifetime. Um. Okay, Anthony, what's going on? Well, whenever it kind of comes to politics, I feel like we're kind of a different mindset because of how we we're like raised. Different mindset. Yeah, different mindset. I, she's very um, anti-government. Mm. I'm not anti-government. I'm just, I'm kind of like, I wish the government worked more for us. Okay, I didn't know that we disagreed on that, so I'm over here. Um, I don't want to live in California. I don't want to live in the United States. I don't like the government and you know what we have going on right now. The diversity is is great, but it's just causing more and more problems. My dream is to like run away, live in a forest. Survive off of my own ability. Bitch, you wanna be fucking bear grills? You dead ass serious? Let's let's really really think about some shit. Use your use your noodle for a second. Let's really think about some shit that can actually happen, my nigga. You wanna be bear grills, nigga? Bitch wanna be Tarzan? Like, can we actually I thought she was about to say some shit like she wants to move to Europe or something like that. That would have made sense. That would have that would have actually made sense because she wanna move to some other area that's less Wherever the fuck she think of, of, of the case of bitch, you want you want to live off the fucking land, like bitch. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm keeping it stack. You could last a second without fucking like euphoria or some shit, my nigga. Fuck you mean you you about to live off the forest and live off the land and scavenge to survive? What the fuck are you talking about? Where the fuck she go live? Like what do these these? these I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know what shows y'all be watching, but the niggas got y'all thinking that y'all can really like y'all really built for this shit. My diversity is. I, is great, but it's just causing more and more problems. My dream is to like run away, live in a forest, 
survive off of my own abilities, mm -hmm. like be self-efficient. I don't want to live in. What forest are you talking about? Bitch, this ain't Minecraft. You think this is Minecraft survival hardcore mode? Like, this is not. What forest are you talking about? Where's the location? Where's the average location of this forest you want? Because even if you are in a United States forest, like, what do you think? Like, no government applies to you? Like, at, at wherever you go, some government is going to have to apply to you. I don't know where you think you're about to go that, that there's no government ruling. Like, what forest are you, are you thinking about living? Unless you go to, like, where the Amazonians are at, then you might be straight. But, like, they got their own little system over there, too. Otherwise, I'm not going to, she's not going to make it. I'm not going to lie. In the United States. And if it was up to me, I wouldn't. But you thought you were on the same page about that? I thought, yeah, I thought we agreed. Bitch is crazy. What the fuck? This is crazy. We just try to go to uh, <laughs> Skypea. Like, she's crazy. That, you know, we would move away and, you know, the government. It would be nice, but. It's not realistic. I don't. Do you want to move to a forest and. I like my air conditioning. <laughs> I like my video games. Alondra, you say yes. Well, I was- That bitch is crazy. Is that just me? Is that not, is that not like wild what she's saying? Stuck in between yes and no, because I'm, I don't feel like it's an actual issue, but um, I'm not completely against abortion. I just don't think, I guess it's fair to the life inside of you. I know a lot of people say it's not life. To me, in my conscious, it's life. Even if you have a 30% chance, or even if I have a 30% chance of dying, like I want my baby to live. Mm. When we brought that up, I was like, what if I got pregnant and I had a 30% chance of dying? Like, would you be, would break up with me if I aborted it? And she was like, yeah, and I'm like, damn. Oh, you would break up with him if he aborted the baby? I would. I wouldn't want to be with someone that doesn't agree with me on that stance because mm -hmm. it's also my child. I would. Are you okay, okay with that. that he's okay with it? No. I don't like that. Bernice. Um, during quarantine with the whole BLM, it was like really affecting my community the my most. My like just passed. You should totally unbend me, father. This is one dollar of my B-Day money. <sighs> Let's see what you did. If you don't have, if this isn't your user, I can't do nothing for you. Let's see what you did to get unbanned in the first place. Since it's your birthday, I'm a nice dude. Let's see what you did in the first place to get um on to get banned in the first place. Um, your user doesn't exist, buddy. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Your user doesn't exist. I can't help you. Uh, I'll continue. About brutality and M. It was like really affecting my community the most with like police br brutality and everything that was going on. I felt like it was hard for you to understand or like really understand how um, important it was to me to like go to these protests and really like be there for my community. Yeah. It was kind of hard for you to understand how much that meant Wait, to me. What did I disagree on again on that one? Um, it I was- forgot. it was two years, three years. Yeah, yeah. it was, it, w it was just some, like it felt like you were, you were telling me like, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't be going to these protests because, like, they're dangerous or they're... Or... I mean, and realistically, he's, that's not wrong. He's he's technically not wrong for that. A lot of these... Y'all seen the shit that was going on in 2021? He's not wrong. Like, a lot of the protests, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was... It, so a lot of the time, some shit would happen or, like, shit would just go crazy or some, some of that shit was turned into riots and shit like that. Like, I mean, on that front, technically, he's not wrong in that. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's technically not wrong. Or, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't be going to these protests because, like, they're dangerous or they were, like, they, they weren't dangerous, the protests that I was going to. Like, there weren't th riots I don't think I say anything. it was dangerous. Hmm? I don't think I say it was dangerous. What did you well, say? I was we were, trying to, like, you well, know, understand her intention of going to the protest, like, get mm -hmm. your head straight before you action, act on something. Yeah. I don't want you to go act on something without getting your head straight, in mm -hmm. a way. What do you mean by that? By understanding your intention, why are you going? What mm. are, and what am I gaining out of this? Some questions I never even thought about before. So like, it brought up like things that happened like years ago. What I learned about Devin today was that he has been pretty open. Like I said, a lot of that's conversational shit though. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's awesome shit that can be solved in a, like, like with a conversation now. To me, honestly, yeah, it's, it's good to know, to go deeper into like the topics for sure. But I kind of expected what would happen being here today. Damn, none of them broke up though. Oh no, but uh, <laughs> chat. I guarantee I put it on me. I put money on it too. Out of all these couples, which one y'all think is breaking up? I put money that this these two is breaking up. Cause this bitch is crazy. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't y'all know I don't even use that word like that. 
when it comes to to women, with she's actually like like she's nuts. Like she's she's nuts. I'm not gonna with you. Like she's nuts. Shorty is no Shorty wanna do Minecraft hardcore survivor mode. Shorty is nuts, bro. I'm not gonna cap to you. Conspiracy theories that she she a gazer gazer. Chat, what do y'all do, chat? What do you do if you get a 10 chat? Amazon Lily character? What do y'all do if y'all get a 10 chat? Man, I'm talking about my, my women in chat and or my men in chat. What do y'all do if y'all get a 10? And then she like, uh, she like, oh, I want to go ahead. I hate the government. In GTA Twitch, I'm not saying that. I'm just repeating what she said. Um, I want to go live off the land. I want to go and find a forest and scavenge. And what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what's the plan? Smash and pass, smash and dash, GG's. Leave. I'm going with her. Okay, yeah, y'all, y'all think it's different, bro. Um, I'm gonna leave it. Wait, wait, wait what am I gonna say? Huh. I'm gonna leave her. I'll show her one piece. Damn, how old you chat? That's kind of tough. The bear thing with the tier one. Think with the twelve months, big twelve months. W twelve months. I appreciate you, bro. She built like Gecko Moria. She can go live with herself in West, but fuck by herself. That's tough. That's tough.